What's up? Rage Rim 5678 here. Yeah. Wait, can I actually... Oh, wait. You can actually sneak in this game, can you? Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Dark Souls. Uh, I made this mistake yesterday. Well, technically, I made this mistake an hour ago because I'm recording both these episodes, you know, one after the other. But if this episode does release on Sunday and I don't decide to release another episode, you know, on Saturday and compensate to still release a third episode this weekend on Sunday, then welcome back to your Elden Ring. <laughs> That's all. all right, I'm going to stop confusing myself. So last episode, uh, we explored the rounds of the, I was about to say rounds of the nine. Now I'm thinking of Elder Scrolls. With, uh, we, we came back to the table of the Lost Grace or the round table, whatever you want to call it. And then we explored uh, a couple of areas. We basically, we went here. And then we went to Fort Hot, and we got this really cool act of, or Ash of War. Boom, bitch. So I believe that this is, well, probably bleed damage, obviously, because that's what the uh, the guy that we killed uh, to get this thing uh, was doing. He was applying bleed damage to us when every time he used this thing. But yeah, so since we got it now, I mean, it looks so fucking cool. The only thing is that it uses some of our health, so it's kind of like a risk versus reward kind of thing, which I'm down for that. That's kind of cool. Uh, but anyways, I say, so in the last episode, I said, let's go ahead and explore this area first. And then once we're done here, we'll go ahead and explore more of like what's over here. I really want to know what this little shrine thing here is. And then after that, we'll go up here. We'll explore this little place over here, see what's going on, and then we'll make our way to where the main story is. Probably actually want to go ahead and explore the coast here, see if we can actually get on these islands over here. But I'm not quite sure just yet. Um, it's been a long time. I haven't played this game since it came out, really. Uh, not because the game was hard or anything like that. It's just because I knew that one day I was going to want to come back to this game and play it for YouTube. But because we were playing Skyrim at the time... Uh, I didn't know how to really manage it, so I was like, I figured, oh, you know what, we'll we'll play Skyrim, we'll beat all the main stories to fight that, and we'll come back to it. Well, here we are, a year later, and uh, Skyrim is still going, and I was kind of just getting really, uh, I was just getting overwhelmed uh, with Skyrim. Uh, you know, playing it, like, I love Skyrim to death, I love the, I love the, I love everything about Skyrim, alright? But playing it every weekend for a whole year, man, it, it, it can be very boring. Now, that's an achievement, okay? Because I have a hard time, you know, sticking to, uh, you know, keeping my focus on most of these games uh, nowadays. And I don't think I have an ADHD, but my boredness, like, I can get bored easily. I don't know if that's linked to ADHD, but, yeah, there you go. Uh, but for Skyrim to keep my interest high uh, for, like, over a year... Uh, that's an achievement, you know, I think we're like almost like a hundred episodes into that game and we're still going man We still got three more stories. We just started my most favorite story um, in Skyrim the Dark Brotherhood um, But you know, I figured you know since we just started the Dark Brotherhood It's best to take a break from it now and come on to our Elden Ring This is our next big open-world adventure weekend games that you know, I've been wanting to start for Pretty much ever since I started Dark Souls, you know, um, because, you know, I love Dark Souls uh, now, um, but I didn't know how it was going to feel before I started playing it. But I was like, man, I really want to play. I really want to be a Dark Souls game. And here I am. I mean, like I'm playing Dark Souls one uh, on, during the week. That did not help. Wait, am I supposed to continue jumping? Okay. Am I supposed to continue jumping when I do that? Oh, he jumped forward no matter what. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Ooh, what the hell did we end up? All right. But yeah, I started Dark Souls uh, 1, and we're, I say we're getting close to the end game, and I'm very proud of myself for getting it, getting it far. I mean, there's been some ups and downs, trust me. I, I, I've lost my marbles a couple times in Dark Souls, but I'm happy to say that my goal, one of my goals for this year is getting close to being a team, uh, which is to beat any Dark Souls game, really. So, now, if my goal is to beat Elden Ring, yes. Uh, if my goal is to beat Elden Ring this year, 
Hell no. <laughs> Dude, this game might be the second longest game to Skyrim that we'll ever play on this channel. Uh, it's, it's such a big game. It's mainly about open world exploration than like story and stuff like that. But I like that. It's cool. It makes the game different. Okay, I guess it, this guy is an enemy, right? I really hope that's an enemy. Oh yeah, he is. Gonna see another one up there. Royal House Scrolls, and that's a key item. Okay, we gotta know what this is. Uh, give to a learned sorcerer to acquire new sorceries. Um, sorcery scroll of Carrion Royal Family, the heads of Ac of Academy of Ryan Lucaria. Can be given to a learned sorcerer to gain access to the fallen sword. Glint, blade, phylax, and shearing slices. That sounds fucking cool. But we gotta find a sorcerer, so... Even though we found the item, we haven't found the sorcerer yet. Now, where's the sorcerer? I don't know. I mean, dude, I haven't played Elden Ring since the game came out. So, this is pretty much like a new experience for me just as much as... Uh, a little bit. Half as just as much as... Half as much as like it is going to be to anyone who's tuning in for Elden Ring for the first or who, anyone who's playing Elden Ring for the first time so and my god I wish I, I can say that this is the very first time I'm playing Elden Ring but it's not um but it's it's fine Phew. um but I've only played like 25 hours of Elden Ring um and eh, I didn't really get that far in the game so yeah uh and I'm honestly, I'm honestly, I'm doing a lot of stuff that I didn't even do the first time uh, around, so. Yeah, this is definitely uh, still new. Okay, so that's the bridge of the place that I want to go and explore, but I want to see what's up here first. I still want to explore up here. So, by the way, you're going to hear me say, use the word explore a lot in this game, because that's pretty much what this game is all about. It's just explore, 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 explore. Oh, fuck me. There's a, <laughs> there's a boss fight coming up. So, usually these little c centipede, onyx, rock-looking dude, like, from Pokemon, whatever that guy's name is. I think his name is Onyx. Uh, usually it symbolizes a boss fight. I remember I spent almost 45 minutes on one of these boss fights, and it was awesome. So, I stay calm. Uh, is there, is there like anything around? Is there like a state of modic, statue of Modica around here? I don't see one. Uh, if we die, it's gonna suck. Oh, there's a Modica statue right here. Okay, beautiful. Alright, it's, it's not gonna be too bad. That's uh, another good thing about this game too. That I, you know, honestly, I kind of like. It's fine. That um, if we fight a boss, we don't have to travel too far to fight him again to try it again. Uh, yeah, it's wonderful. All right, let's see what we got. Oh boy. Hello? What how night Dar Dari will? Okay. Yep. Definitely represent the name Blood. All right. That did so much damage to that guy, by the way. That was fucking awesome. I was really trying to go for my uh, ass war attack there, my bleed attack there. So that motherfucker put his leg on, like, on the wall of the arena. That's funny. But we can definitely do this in a few tries, I believe. Yeah, I never done this boss fight the first time around either. So, like I said, we're doing a lot of things I didn't do the first time. All right, where's my? I do not know where my graces are. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to say fuck it. I don't know where my grace is, so fuck it been
And there we go. What house thing? Okay. Uh, let's see what. What is it? What are? Uh, hello. Uh, what just happened? Oh, okay. I'm just coming back to the real world. All right, that's cool. Uh, okay. So we can't use it because our strength is down by one. <laughs> uh, and our dexterity is small too. But it's a great sword, though. Woo! Where is it? Nice. It must be a good one, too. Whoa, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Alright. So we'll just gotta level up our uh, strength and our dexterity to use it. So that's not bad at all. Alright, cool. Nice. Well, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Alright, where did our Grace go? Oh, Grace. Grace. There it is, hiding in the bushes. Alright, cool. Ah, shit. <laughs> They put another one here, another statue of Monica, because, uh, look at all this shit. I need to go through. Alright, that's fine. Ow! What the fuck did that come from? Oh, that went Oh, I didn't think it went over the damn thing. Okay. Well, hey, learn something new every day. Alright, come here, bro. <laughs> oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. That motherfucker fell on his ass. <laughs> Go. No, the smithing stone. Nice. I do remember the smithing stones when you need to upgrade stuff, so. It's very worthy. Hello. I can't believe you didn't hear everything that just went down, fam. Alright. This... Well, that's a welcome invitation to uh, this new area. So let's, uh, let's explore. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, we found a stonework key, too. That's very nice. So that's the stuff that we need to open up those little gargoyle, uh, gates, thingies, whatever. Alright, uh, can we level up? Yes, we can. Alright. Can do our, some more strength. Next time we'll, I think we'll upgrade our dexterity a bit. Uh, hello? Huh. Hello? Hello? Is somebody there? Oh, you're blind too, just like the other guy. For a moment, please. My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. I... I fear for father's life. The servants are full wrath. Filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father? At the castle, my soul wishes that he escape. Even if his honor should be the price. Please. I just want him to be safe. Uh, sorry fam. I mean, I haven't done this before, but I'm, I, I, I would imagine considering, you know, the world. Uh, yeah, he's fucking dead. Thank you. Dearly. Uh, whatever. Then please, take this. 
deliver it to my father, who remains in the castle, if you please. Please, he can be stubborn. All right. Let's see what this letter says. Letter addressed to the commander of Castle Morn. Letter given by uh, Irena, Irena, whatever. Addressed to her father, the commander of Castle Morn, gorgeous silken handkerchief, lightly stained with blood. Words can be made out within. Uh, it doesn't actually tell us what he says, but. All right, I'm back. So, all right. So I don't know. If, sorry, I don't know if this is just something that like just happens to a normal person when they they're used to working out every day but the one day you kind of decide you know you don't really feel like working out at some point in the day you're like man i really want to work out now so i went ahead and just like did a, did a quick jog around and stuff like that and i feel really good now so whatever is coming my way like this big giant guy who looks like he did a pretty good job at taking care of all these dudes uh let's go ahead and do the smart thing and take out these wolves <clears throat> bitches so speaking of wolves um I just want to go ahead and say in advance, I am. I apologize if you guys hear my dog. He is a very needy little thing, so if you hear a little whining, stuff like that, trust me, it's, it's, it's my dog. But he only seeks attention. Oh my no! Speaking of which, <laughs> he says I like, walked up to me. He's like, oh hey, oh I thought you were just a normal NPC dude. Okay, oh you little shit, get out of here. Get out of here! I already had to deal with this fucking rat last episode. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck off. No oh shit. Fuck you. No, not you. Oh, and my dog just walked out of here. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, whatever. Alright. I wanna fight this guy. Oh, there's more stupid little doggos there. Ooh, but we do get a little. Oh, god dang it. Oh my god, I'm still trying to get used to the fucking Elden Ring controls, too. Uh, alright. So, this does better against Slash and Pierce, but not physical. I don't really understand the difference between... Like, I know the difference between Slashing, Striking, and Pierce. But, aren't they all technically physical damage, too? I don't know, man. But, whatever. Anyways. Let's try our attempt with this big guy. What's up, bitch? You just look like you're like... Oh my god, look at the damage output. Okay, I am definitely in the wrong area. Am I in the wrong area? Well, I did a good amount of damage. Oh, God! Okay. I don't know what I was thinking. Just trying to ignore him. He's like, don't you ignore me, bitch! Nope. Alright. I gotta be really conservative on, like, when to use my Ash of War too, because even though it's very good, it costs my HP, and I only have a limited amount of flask, so... Oh god, he's pulling out the sword! This is the kind of fight Dragonborn now. The Dragonborn needs to do, so... Like in Skyrim and stuff, I'm dead. Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, we'll go ahead and just say, uh, we'll leave this guy alone. He has a nice booty, by the way. Uh, but we'll go ahead and leave him alone. And, uh, we'll just continue downwards, so. Let me go ahead and take a sip of my drink for this episode, eh? I know. I've already had coffee this morning, but it ain't coffee. This is actually, okay, real quick, like, legit. If anybody's looking for, like, an alternative to, like, sodas and stuff like that, like, you don't want to drink any sodas. And, and you still don't want to drink like the, the the like seltzer water or something like that because to me seltzer water can kind of get old quicker than just drinking regular soda and maybe it's because they don't have the stuff that makes you like addicted or whatnot but eh, nope eh. there we go maybe they don't have the thing that makes you addicted uh, in them but to me seltzer water can get uh, pretty old pretty fast. So if you guys want an alternative, try looking up these uh, this brand called Swoon. Now these now there's no it's not soda or anything. They got like tons of different flavors. By the way, this is not a sponsorship video. By the way, I'm just like giving out my recommendations here. Uh, but this but basically they got like lemonade like in cans. They got lemonade, 
ginger lemonade, sweet tea, peach tea, you know, all types of like tea and lemonade flavors, stuff like that. And they're all like really helpful. They boost your immune system. They have no sugar, five calorie, no, one carb. And that's just coming off the ginger lemonade, by the way. Um, but yeah, like this is like real lemonade and stuff like that. That sugary crap that you get at uh, regular places. So, but yeah, if, if you guys are interested or you guys want to mix it, uh, you know, Raven, Raven's recommendation. That's what it is. Uh, I guess I'll buy and see what you got. That armor looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. That's an ist, though. Is it better than what I have? Oh, okay. So, so we can come make a comparison. Uh, mm, no, not really. Actually, I really do not know if this is better than what I have. Oh, so we can sell our Ashes of War if we want to. Alright, let's go ahead and sell our weapons. We're not going to ever use them. Uh, I need to get my Dexterity to 17. It is at 13 right now. So we'll definitely boost our Dexterity. Therapy's here Dexterity as well. Uh, other than that... Hmm. Go ahead and sell that as well. We'll go ahead and sell that as well. We're selling stuff that we were really never going to use. Alright. They're getting used to the controls. Uh, ooh, these, uh, yeah, these are all around better. Uh, Greaves, nice. Alright. We'll be back soon, fam. Alright. I just want to make sure I've actually rested at this site, by the way, because I don't want to, like, die and then just have to travel. Actually, I, I, I keep forgetting we can fast travel in this game. Oh man, Dark Souls 1, man, it's so much more punishing, yet it's so much more fun. I mean, well, no, no, no. I mean, I, I don't know. It, I'm gonna have to get far into Elden Ring to know if which games I like better. But, thus far, I, I mean, Dark Souls 1 is definitely funner. Uh, but I think it's just because it's more satisfying. And we haven't really hit a boss wall yet. I mean, yes, that Tree Sentinel was, you know, kind of, it's kind of like a boss wall. But it's more like a rock, you know? It's like a rock that you can get around, but and then you can come back and try to push. If that makes any sense. You know, pushing as in beating the tree sentinel. So, so oh shit, hey. No, 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 no! Oh, uh, that was a fail. Oh, I love the great swords because of the multiple hits that we can do. I just don't like how slow it is. So when it comes to these enemies, go all right what do we have here what do we have here <laughs> I've never seen this before okay I have no clue what I'm doing with that so and it looks like that's something that we're just gonna have to come back at a later time oh well Alright, well, it is what it is, so, um, so, let's see, it's called, okay, what do you guys okay, whatever, alright, uh, alright, let's go ahead and check this area out real quick, um, so, I don't want to check these, like, anywhere below of, like, this range, because I feel like this is the way the devs are telling you, it's like, this is where you're supposed to be, like, this entire area, otherwise, if you go out any further, you're gonna die. So, I'm going to go ahead and take that warning, and, uh, yeah, I'm, we're going to go ahead and explore, see what's over here real quick, out in these trees, and then after that, uh, we'll come back up here, we'll explore this area here, and then, and then once we come back, we'll go and pretty much start making our way up to our first actual, like, main boss guy, and I say after, if we can beat the main first like boss guy that we can definitely go back and fight the tree sentinel because he is harder oh i'm so glad i didn't die from that but he is actually harder than the tree sentinel okay the fact that there's state of Monica right there kind of makes gives me a little concerned yellow ember oh what the fuck oh yo why do you guys oh shit Oh my god, you guys are strong too. Wow. 
What the hell? Yo, why do these rats have yellow eyes? Uh, weird. Definitely got to be more to this area. So I guess what we can make of it, of this thing is that these rats must have just killed these dude, this dude here, but... Like, why? Like, I mean, not why. Because, believe it or not, like, you know, rats in real life don't try to avoid their best to avoid you know people rats in this game it's like no fuck you we're killing you so uh so i don't even see a way over there what's this thing here yellow ember okay let's check okay that guy had yellow ember on his corpse let's look and see what this is get those because those rats also had yellow ember in their eyes uh, where is it? I think this is it. Found in land afflicted by frenzy. Okay. Uh, an ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. Material used for crafting item. A sign that a deceased suffered from a fl the flame of frenzy. This grape has ripened and burst. Okay, so these guys must be inflicted with frenzy, which is like. That little bar that uh, hit us, you know, when we were uh, fighting those rats. So then, okay, I guess we gotta find out where the frenzy came from. Where I mean, is it like a oh, well, I'm dead. Is that guy gonna have? Ye is that guy have yellow eyes as well? Yeah, that he does. What the fuck? What? Oh, that looks cool. So this is an example of environmental storytelling. We don't know what's going on. We just came across this area and all the enemies, once they start combat... Where you going, bitch? Once they start combat... Sorry if you heard that. My dog is literally just walking to my wire. Well, like, you're causing more problems than like, than like, in like five seconds than this game has done to me so far. <laughs> Alright. Uh... But anyways, like we don't know what's going on here. We just we just walked in here and like we just noticed that all of the enemies have print at yellow ember frenzy. What the Yo, this is some Resident Evil 4 shit right here. Wait, let's let me look at this flower. Is this light flower? Erdly flower. Ah, I'm still getting used to the controls. Alright, Erdly Flower. Uh here we go. Found throughout lands between a dusky yellow flower that started to fade to brown. These throughout the land, crafting items said to be fed leaves that fell from the earth tree in days of antiquity. Okay, Sila, I said that word. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. And look at these guys. These guys are. Huh. I don't want to activate them yet. Even though they all seem like very still, which is kind of creepy. Oh, there's another rat over there. Um! Alright. Flame Crest Wooden Shield. Oh my god, I'm still. Alright. Uh. Alright, so it's a heavy load, so we can't even equip it. But that's better physical damage than, uh... Well, that's because that's it's on our left. A tall, medium-sized wooden shield, light force size, and easy to handle. Carried by soldiers of the village that is afflicted by frenzy. The yellow flame is the symbol of the affliction. Serving as a warning to those who might approach the village. So this shield is pretty much telling us that... Guards, I guess, of this village. Carried by soldiers of the village that is afflicted by... Friends. So this village is... Sounds like it's... It's not like been infected or something. It sounds like they just came in here and be like, Yeah, we want some frenzy juice, you know? I don't know. Oh, that looks like a grace site over there. Let's go ahead and, uh... Let's go ahead and rest up there just in case we... Run into some big trouble and die here.
Alright, uh, if there's really nothing else, then I think I'm gonna go ahead and try my luck at killing these guys. hey -ya! Like, just like, I, I, like I said, environmental storytelling, man. Like, you don't, like, there's no story or something saying, Oh, yeah, this is exactly what happened. Like, this is actually to your, like, imagination. Though, I'm pretty sure you need to look up a lore video of, like, what happened to this village, but... Hmm. Quiet material. Yeah, more yellow ember. Yeah, I guess definitely some Resident Evil shit here, so. Alright, well, there we go. I guess that's the, uh, I guess that's pretty much it for this place. I mean, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's too much else. Which, I mean, you know, I, I, I was at least expecting maybe a boss fight, but, alright. Fair enough, fair enough, I guess. So, interesting that we had a grace, like, not too far at all to this place, so. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we haven't even checked this area here. Oh my god. As if we needed more fucking rats. Alright, here's the best way we're gonna do this. Get on our steed. For Narnia! I can't believe I just straight up missed. Alright, drag them all out here. And just keep going in circles. Got a golden rune out of one of those guys. There's another statue of Modica right there. Flame of Frenzy? Ooh. Sacred Seer. Uh, okay. Let's look and see what that is. Improved Sacred Flask Potency? Uh, hell yes. Blessing of the Earth Tree, worship in the churches of all land. This is but a faint vestige. Increase the potency of a sacred flask, restore, restore effects. Oh, so this thing can basically restore the amount of uh, health that I, you know, get back from, uh, from healing. So that's good. That's pretty good. We'll definitely put some more uh, stats into faith. Uh, a little bit later, but I really want to start focusing on strength and endurance and dexterity as much as I can just so we can start using the berserk weapon because that is a very good weapon to have, especially in this early uh, in the game. There we go. Nice. It's a good thing we went and came over here and explored, so that's exactly what this game is all about. Alright, so. I say let's go ahead and now we can go ahead and go over there and check and see what's over here. And we'll get down here. And then we'll go over here. There we go. Hi. Alright, let's go, bitch. I feel like I fought one of you like as a boss already. Owned! 
Oh, great. Oh, uh, hi. My boy was ready to fight and he's already- Oh, shit, there's another one. Go ahead and call our steed since we can get down here safely. See if there is a way into this structure here. It doesn't look like there is though. Okay. How about over here in the ruins? Demi human force. Okay. Oh, looks like we got a cave. Oh yeah, that definitely heals way more. Ah, oh, you cunning little bitch. There we go. Oh, how funny. That guy also inflicted me with bleed a bit. Alright. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Go. All right. Uh, why is it always bravery? Whatever. Uh, yeah. Nope. Shield of the guilty. Uh, okay. So, physical, 75, blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay, shield made to venerate a maiden whose eyes were crushed by the briars of sin before being reborn in the land. Venerating the repose of the soul, the shield boosts focus. The briars can be used to attack foes. That is very interesting. <laughs> All right. I'm actually kind of surprised we haven't actually like ran into like an actual boss yet in this uh, episode. So I mean, I'm not expecting there to be a boss every like 30 seconds. Uh, Cause that would just—I mean, eventually to me it'd be like, goddamn, like, come on, man. Cause, you know, I'm not a big fan of like how some uh, games they end by just shoving a bunch of bosses. Sometimes like bosses that you've already fought in the game, um, and it's as bad as it sounds. I mean, it's just. I don't know, it's just, it's boring. You know, I'm not a big fan of boss gauntlets, but... Uh, I know that in this game, I mean, that could happen because... Well, you know, there's like a thousand bosses in this game. Alright, examine. Guide the, and gatekeeper for those returning to roots. Alright. I think this guy is gonna base... I think this thing just basically guides us to, uh... A dungeon. Yeah, pretty much, because we just found another dungeon. Hell yeah! Tomb Sword Catacomb. Right. And leveling up dexterity again. Oh wait, we can. We're under 600. Darn. Stone Sword Key. I mean, we got one. We might as well go ahead and use it. Alright. Was it worth it? Can I fucking swing? Thank you for the shitty notification. Okay. 
God damn. I gotta get a hit in this, guys. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so we found another cookbook, so yeah, I don't think that was really worth it, but fuck it. It happens. All right, obviously we got another boss fight in there. Depending on how long this dungeon is, probably won't need to use it for... Probably won't be using it until uh, the next episode. happen here <laughs> oh my god You miss, bitch. No, hit him. There we go. There we go. You wear it right. <laughs> what the fuck? Prattling what is it? I was like that uh that one chick from Scary Stories Tell in the Dark. Oh that might have should we get burned? Oh yeah. That shield bashing is so good to like when you're getting surrounded by enemies. You Oh my god, I'm still alive. And now I'm dead. Wow. Was I even going the right way? It looked like a dead end here. So. Oh well. I think I'll go ahead and leave it for the next episode. So. Whew. Nice. So. Alright. So I think after we explore this thing, we'll explore over here. And then, you know, over here. And then we're going to go to the main boss area. Finally, if we are main boss guy, dude. So. Yeah. So, yeah, I know that, um, yeah, it's, you know, the last episode might be a little slow, uh, you know, here and there and stuff like that. It's mainly because, you know, this is the first area. This is like, we're trying to level up a bit, you know, we're, basically, in other words, we're grinding a little bit just so we can, uh, 
go over here. Cause there's no other game that will ask you to grind more than Elden Ring. Um, well, at least from what I played. I haven't played any really much other Soulsborne games. So, um, hey, I guess I'll know when I get there. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.